Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Anna. How's everything? How are you today? Fine, teacher. Okay, nice. How was your day? Oof, hard working. <laughs> oh, okay. Good yes. What did you do today? Um, mm, uh, I got to the school. Oh, you had to go to the school. Sí. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it near your house? Eh, no. It's no, far. Eh, eh, far, far. Oh, okay. El Paisnal. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, sounds. Eh, and where do you live? Eh, Tonacatepeque. Oh, okay. How long does it take to get there? What did you? How long does it take to get to your work? Yes. ¿Cuánto tiempo le toma trasladarse um, al trabajo? In one hours. One hour, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of far. Yes. yes. It's very tiring when you have to travel, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank God it's Thursday, tomorrow, it, Friday. It's, <laughs> it's very funny. It's very funny. I mm. I listen to music. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> do you like traveling? Yes. <laughs> you do. Oh, okay. Uh, um, uh, what do you say? Cerro. Uh, the mountain or oh, there's another, yeah, I forgot the other word. Um, okay, you can call it a mountain, I, but let me I see, there. I see. I see este, the song in el cerro, in el cerro de Guasapa. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh -huh. That's nice. Sí, beautiful. Yeah, what's <laughs> the other word for cerro? I have forgotten. It's <laughs> hill. There's that one, hill. That's the one. Ah, here. Yes. It, uh -huh. it's, it, it's beautiful. Yes, right. It is, I guess. It's very nice. And, um, oh, you're done with the platform, right, Anna? You're doing well. So. Oh, yeah. I finished. Okay. All right, okay. excellent. Let's see, Marvel, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Marvel? How are you, Marvel? Fine, thank you. Great. How was Great. your day? How was your day? Very good. All right, so All what, right, did so what did you do today? Uh, work. Just work? Just work. Yeah. All right, All right. What, do you do? what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Oh, you're a mechanic. Oh, you're a mechanic. Yes. Yes. All right, All nice, right. nice. And the platform and the marble, marble, have you finished? Have you finished? No, uh, have you section five. You're in section five, You're in okay. Section five. okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Carlos Antonio, Carlos good, Antonio. Evening. good evening. Okay, let me see Basilia, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, nice. How was your day? Yeah, very good. Okay, I'm good to hear that. And <clears throat> sorry, what did you do? Um, in the morning, how, housework. This mm -hmm. Yes, housework. And housework. And the... Uh, what do you say, tarde? In the afternoon? In the afternoon, I go to the bank. 
Okay, you went to the bank. All right, that's nice. Yeah. Great. And you have finished the work in the platform, right, Basilia? Yes, I finished. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Anderson, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? A little tired. Oh, okay. How was your day? Fine, fine. Tell me about it. What did you do? Uh, I just, I was studying in the morning. Okay. Just and studying. Then come or... All right. So you're taking online classes. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. That's nice. And the platform, Anderson? Yeah, are finished. you done? Okay. All right. Nice. Thank you. Carlos Antonio, good evening. Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Yes, so, so. So, so. How was your day? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, every day is uh, hard. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, you always hard. have a lot yes. to do, right? A lot of yes. work. Okay. Yes. Right. Was okay. it fine at the end? Was it all right? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. That's, that's nice. And um, let's see, um, do we have any questions, any doubts about anything uh, regarding the platform, the exercises, or any of the topics we have been studying? Maybe you can check and ask me. Any questions, any doubts? Maybe not. Hmm. All right, so well, we may start now. Uh, yeah, we are few, but let's start because we got um, many things to do today. So today we are going to make a general review of all the topics we have studied. And um, we are going to do some practice for all the topics, right? And um, so let's start. So welcome everybody to our fourth class of the week. We're almost done with the third week of classes. And well, yesterday we completed some exercises about possessive adjectives and also object pronouns. Let's review them. What are the possessive adjectives? For I, we have? My. What's the one for you? My, your, for he? My, your, his. Is she her hair 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 it it's it's we us ours our they there there okay there remember that the possessives let me go ahead yes possessives are my your my your yes is hair hair it's it's our oh, in there. 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 Yes, there. those are the possessive adjectives. And then we get to the, the object pronouns. Object pronouns. Object pronouns go like me. Me. What's the one for you? Your. You. 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 He. Him. 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 She. <laughs> she. Here. Oh, Here. 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 It. 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 We. We, us, 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 they, they, them, 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 that's correct. Them. Mm -hmm. Yes, those are the object pronouns, okay. very well. 
Now, uh, we completed this exercise with the possessive adjectives and we checked it yesterday, right? My father oh. is driving his car. His new car. Hello, what's your name? I have a sister, her name is Mary. The cow ate its food quickly. They like sports. Their favorite sport is ru rugby. Is this Paul's cat? Yes, it's his cat. I have a pet. Its name is Babu. We bought our food yesterday. You are a boy and your name is Mark. And I live in Paris with my family. Okay, and I think uh, we were missing this one, right? We didn't check it, so let's do it now. Okay. So help me with the answers. We are going to complete it using object pronouns. So we have number one, you are very kind. I love you. You. I love you very much. And the next one, the children will come soon. Will you wait for? Them. Them. That them refers to the children. Number three, we are going for a walk. Come with us. us. With us. Come with us. And this is James. Do you know? Him. Him. Okay, then we have how much is that dress? I like it. 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 Number six, you and you Theo and are tall, are but Theo, Theo is, is taller than you. Than you, right? You. And then we have number Where's seven. My Where's my mom? Where's I mom? want to talk to her. Hair. 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 To hair. Mm -hmm. Number eight, we can solve mm -hmm. this. Can you help? Me? Uh, me. Uh, no. Us. Can you help us? Yes. Us. We, right? It refers to we. We, yes. we can solve this. Can you help us? And number nine, I can't do I that. Don't. Can you help? Me. 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 In that case, we use me. Mm -hmm. Number 10, it's this is house. my house. Do you like? Do you it. like it? it? It. Do you like it? Do you like it? Okay, so um, that's, those are the answers. Do we have any questions about them? So here is you refers to this one, back to this one. Then uh, that them refers to the children. Then here we use us because we're talking about we, right? We. And uh, this one refers to James. Then we have it, which refers to that dress. Next one is you, which refers to both, you and Theo. Oh, no, wait. It says, but Theo is taller than you, so it's only you. So it refers to that you. And uh, where's my mom? I want to talk to her. That here is my mom. Then here, this us refers to so me. Like uh, then we have um, I, that's why I choose me. And the reference for this, it is my house. That's how they go. Any questions about this? No? Okay, let's no. continue then. So we are going to continue by working on a conversation. I want you to listen to the conversation and answer some questions. Here we have the questions. And we got, where are Dave and Susan going to go? When is the match? What time does the match start? Are they going to have dinner together? And what time are they going to meet? Those are the questions you have to answer. So let me send you a screenshot of those. So you have them. Let me stop sharing the screen. I'm going to send them to the chat over here. And, oh, I don't even know how to, okay. Let 
Give me a second. I'm going to send you the questions through the chat. There you go. There you have all the questions. I want you to listen to the conversation and answer the questions. So let's try. In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where would for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this. Can you listen to that? Conversation. Yes. Okay, thanks. All right, so we're ready. We are going to listen to the conversation and get the answers to the questions. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes? okay. Let's listen. An invitation. As you an invitation. An invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, let me play it one more time. <laughs> In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where would for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. Did you get the answers or do we need to listen again? Listen again. Okay. <laughs> one more time. One more time. Don't worry. Yeah, please. In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where what for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. So, so. Are you done? Okay. Uh, do we need to listen one more time? We can do it. We can listen one more time and then we check if you'd like to. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> listen again or check? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see you're kind of disappointed what happened. Don't worry. Okay, let's listen one more time then. 
In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at 8. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Um, we got question number one. Where are Dave and Susan going to go? What's the answer? Soccer. 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 Yes, they are going to they go, going to, to, the go to the soccer, soccer match. Yes, they are going to go to the soccer match. And next question is when is the match? Friday. 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 Friday night. It's on Friday night. What time does the match start? It's eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Yes, that is fine. It starts at eight o'clock. Next question says, are they going to have dinner together? No. No, they are no. no, right? No. They aren't. No, they aren't. And the last one, what time are they going to meet? 7.30. At 7.30. At 7.30. Yep. All right, that's very well. You got all the answers. Now um, let's continue by practicing the conversation. Now let me show it to you. Um, here you have it. It's the conversation between Dave and Susan. Now let me ask for some volunteers to read it. Do I have any? Your teacher. Carlos and Boris. Okay, okay, go ahead. Carlos, you can start. Okay, I have a ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Mm, I'd like to, but I have to work late it's because I don't have money for, for some. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let me at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, see you there. Uh, remember, uh, how do, do you do you uh, give a snack? <laughs> take <laughs> to bring <Hey. laughs> okay. it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, nice. okay. Thank you, Carlos and Boris. Now let me have another pair to read, please. Me teacher. Me teacher. Adriana and Francisco. Go ahead, Francisco, you start. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match, around seven thirty. Okay, let me at the gate. That's on fine. See you there. All right, excellent. Thanks for reading. 
Adriana and Francisco. Now let me have a third pair. Any other volunteers me to teacher. read? Um, sorry, who was that? Gabriela? And who else? Me teacher. Basilia, okay, go ahead. Basilia, you start. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I love too. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So, so do you want to have dinner at six, at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet and the game. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, excellent. Thanks for reading. Um, do I have any other volunteers to read? Anybody else who wants to read? No more volunteers? Okay, that's fine. So let's continue by talking about the use of wood for imitations, right? So here you have some expressions and to indicate or, well, to accept or to decline uh, an imitation, we got, for example, I'd love to. Thanks, I'd love to. So she's accepting the invitation, right? Then we got the other one, which says, I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I have to work late. So here you're declining the invitation. You are not accepting, right? So how do we use that word for accepting or declining invitations? Let's check it out. Let me go to this video. And oh, before we get to there, let me tell you about the lesson objective, which is by the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of wood in questions and answers. So let's watch the video and let's find out how to, how to use wood for making invitations and for accepting or declining them. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would Verb plus two plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb, comma, but plus. Examples. I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Parents. Okay, so that is how we use would in questions and also in answers. We normally use would for a inviting somebody to do something. And then and we also use it for answering, right? Answering that invitation. 
we could uh, give a positive answer, so accepting the invitation, or it could also be that we decline the invitation, so that will be a no, right? Uh, we have a, for example, would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to, thanks. Yes, I'd like to go. So those are ways of uh, ways to accept invitations. Then we have, would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. So in that case, we say, I'd like to, but, and then we add an excuse, right? Or an explanation, if you want to call it so. We say, I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. And then we have a, the contraction that we use for would. I would would be I'd. Now let's practice pronunciation. Everybody repeat. Would you like to go out on Friday? Would you like to go out on Friday? Would you like to go out on Friday? On Friday? Friday. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I love to. Yes, I'd really like to go. Yes, I really like to go. Okay, remember to pronounce. Remember to pronounce this well. I'd, 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 I'd. I really like to go. 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 Okay, next one. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I like I money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. I like I want to visit my parents. I want to visit my parents. I'd I I I I would I would I would I would. I would. Okay, in that I case, we do not pronounce the 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 L, right? We say would, like something like would. this. Let's say would, like would. I would, I would. would. I would. Yes, would. something like that. And then remember about this one is I'd, I'd, with that. I'd. 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 I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like to. Okay, now let me tell you a little bit more about wood. So we already mentioned that we use it to, to make some invitations and also offers, right? And we use it in questions such as, would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to come for a meal? Would you like a drink? Would you like some soup? And the structure of we, as we heard in the video is would, then the subject, then like or love, or you can use different verbs here. And then the verb in the infinitive. So that means the verb with the two, right? And after that, we just add a complement as in the examples. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to come for a meal? Would you like a drink? And would you like some soup? So you see how we are making some different invitations and also some offers. Now repeat, please. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to come for a meal? Would you like to come for a meal? Would you like a drink? Would you like a drink? Would you like some soup? Would you, you like, like some soup? soup? Okay, then how to accept invitations? We can say, for example, thank you, I would love to. Thank you, I would love to. I'd like to. I would love to. 
Okay, next one, I'd like to. I like, like, I like to. I like to. That sounds lovely. And that, that sounds, sounds lovely. lovely. That sounds lovely. What a great idea. What a, what a great, great idea. idea. Yeah. Thanks for your invitation. I'd be delighted to. Sounds great. Sounds great. That'd be wonderful. That'd be wonderful. Okay, so those are some. Okay, those are some phrases or some expressions that we can use in order to accept invitations. So, for example, if you are asked, would you like to have coffee with me? Would you like to have coffee with me? You can say, that sounds lovely, for instance. Or, would you like to go out with me? What a great idea. And would you like to come to my house? Thanks for your invitation. I'd be delighted to. So, you can use any of those expressions in order to accept an invitation in a very kind way, right? Then we also have some expressions to refuse invitations. Whenever you do not accept the invitations, what can you say? We got, I would like to, but, and then you add uh, an explanation or excuse, right? Yes. I would like to go, but I can't, I have something to do. I would like to come with you, but I have to work, for instance. I would like to have dinner with you, but I'm busy on Friday night, for instance. So there, you just add the, the excuse or the explanation, right? Everybody repeat. I would like to, but I. I would, I would like, like to, but I. But I. But I. I'd love to, but I. I'd, I'd love, love to, but I. But I. But I. And this one works similarly to I would like to, but I. So here you would say, for example, if you were asked, um, would you like sure. to, let's say. It's your answer. I yeah. love to, would I, yes. Yes. But so I, here we're using the contraction, right? Instead of I would, yes. I'd. Yep. I would I like, I so I, let's think I, of an example of an invitation. For example, would you like to go to the uh, to the soccer match with me. I'd love to go, but I have to do homework, for instance. Or I'd love to go, but I have to, well, I have to go to a party. I mean, just whatever explanation you have. Then another phrase that we can use or another expression we can use is, thank you for asking me, but, and then you explain. Everybody repeat. Thank you for asking me, but. Thank you for asking me, but. Thank you for asking me, but. I don't think I can. I don't, I don't think, think I can. can. Sorry, I don't think I can make it. Sorry, Sorry. I don't think I can make it. Okay, so those would be the ways of, um, refusing and accepting invitations. Now let's continue by doing some practice. Um, here, we are going to make some invitations <laughs> using the phrases. And we have to make questions such as, would you join me for coffee? Would you join me for coffee? Or you can use like or love. Would you like to join me for coffee, for instance? And you have to ask and answer the invitations as your classmates. We're going to work in small groups. Then after you do that, I want you to make some sentences using the verb be. You make the affirmative, negative, and the questions. For example, number one, I am Michael. The negative, what is it? What's I the am negative? I I am not. Mm -hmm. I am, not, I am Michael. not Michael. And a question. Are you Michael? Are you Michael? Okay, good. That is what you have to do. Then we got yes, something yeah. similar, but with a simple present. 
Here you have to unscramble the sentences first. Then you make negative and interrogative sentences. We got number one, what's the sentence? Um, we drink tea we, every day. We, we drink tea every day. Make it negative. Drink tea every day. Make it negative. We drink tea every day. The negative is? No. No, we don't. We don't drink. We don't, we don't drink. Mm -hmm. We don't drink every day. every day. We don't drink tea every day. And the question? Does we does we does or do do right do we drink tea every day? Do we drink? Okay, just remember for the simple present we use do and does right, and also the negatives don't and doesn't. And here we're using the verb be am is or are. Okay, so let me send you to the breakout rooms. So we work on these exercises, then we come back and check. There you go. Now you may accept the invitation. And I'm sending you the exercises to the WhatsApp group. Hello, did you get the exercises? Hi there. Hi teacher. Did you get the exercises? Yes. Okay, fine. Are you working now? Yes. Okay, that's fine.
come to the cinema tonight? Would you like come to the cinema tonight? Would you like? Te gustaría come to? Me too. Oh. Yes. Would you like come to cinema tonight? Okay, just remember you say, would you like to? Would you like to? Yes. Oh, I forget the infinity. Yep. Uh, would you like to? Yes. Would you like to? Would you like to? Would you like to? Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Another question Would you like to go to the watch TV? What is teacher? What's the meaning paradise? What do you mean? What word? Uh, uh, for make invitation to for uh, for question. Uh, question four. Uh, um, go to watch the parade. Parade. Oh, the parade. The parade is the parade. desfile. Ah, much much people. It's better mm -hmm. than uh, a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you, don't know, you do not like crowded places. Yes, so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, parade. 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 Like to. Like to go to. Come to. Watch parade. Watch parade. We need to come to barbecue. Oh, the Dennis Club. Is a match. Is a match. It's a ball. <laughs> it's a ball. It's a match. Play soccer with me. Oh, basketball, please. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's a bit too. We like to. Entonces las tenemos que hacer como, como negativas también. Mm, sí, creo que sí, tenemos que contestar en aceptando y, y refutando. Y refutando. Vaya, si quieren. 
Uh -huh. Le voy a preguntar a ah, solo que esto se me ha trabado. Sí, por favor. Uh, a ver, sería Would you like join me for coffee? I like I would like there. <clears throat> I I would like I love to but I mm, I don't like coffee. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I like it. Would you have lunch with me? Would you like to have lunch with me? Yes. Um, okay. Would you like have lunch with me? Teacher, disculpe, y en toda uh -huh. would you like? Yes, well, you can actually use would you like, or you can just use the verb, like would you, would you go to the stadium with me? You can also use it that way, but usually when we're inviting somebody, we use would you like to. Se puede hacer de las dos formas, pero normalmente cuando estamos invitando a alguien decimos te gustaría, ¿verdad? Ajá, Entonces ajá. eso es el equivalente al would you like to. I would, I would you like. Así que normalmente sí lo utilizamos. Would you like okay. to? Uh -huh. A ver, gracias. Y también se puede poner entonces el going to. Um, mm. What do you mean? Um, como en vez del like to. Like, would you go to? Or, yes, you can, you can say, uh, let me get the sentences here. Uh, so you could say, for example, would you like to join me for coffee? Or would you join me for coffee? Sería, would you like to join me for coffee? ¿Te gustaría acompañarme a un café? Or mm -hmm. would you join me for coffee? ¿Me acompañarías a un café? So that would be the difference. But at the end, I mean, you can use both. Gracias. And pues las dos se pueden utilizar. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Okay. Mm 
How are you doing with the practice? Teacher. Hi. I am confused. <laughs> really? Do you need help? I need help in the picture number two, the first to be. Okay. So tell in me. The, in the uh, number two, you, my brother. And cuando queremos hacer la oración, for example, in number one, I am Michael. But in you, my brother, ¿cómo quedaría? Okay, with you, do we use am, um, is, or are? Are, teacher. Are. Are, so you say you are. Yeah. You are my brother. That is right. Yeah. You are my brother. Okay, thank you. Okay. Are B. Yes, it's a verb. Are there Finish. Ana. Oh, yes. ¿En cuál, en cuál va? En el segundo ejercicio. Pero ah. en la última ya. Thanks. Ah, ok. Ok. Teacher. Hi. Uh, uh, number three. Mm, 
Sí, por present, eh, voy a usar el do y el das. Exactly. You use yeah. do and does. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Teacher. That is right. Okay. So because of the time, we are going to check this next week on Monday. So take care, everybody. Have a nice mm -hmm. weekend. Remember okay. to continue working in the platform, please. The ones who have not finished may continue working. And if you can finish, that will be awesome, right? Just keep going. And uh, for the others, it will, it will, I mean, the same, keep working, right? Keep practicing. If you didn't finish these exercises, you can continue practicing. And we're going to check them next week, okay? So have a good night and have a nice weekend. Tell me, Anna. Go ahead. Es que mandaron mandaron un mensaje en el en el grupo que decía que nos pusiéramos ahí de de al día y que iban a mandar para que quizás me imagino para que mandáramos los documentos pero ese solo era un recordatorio que que nos apuráramos con la plataforma todavía no han mandado el el correo donde hay que inscribirse ya mandaron el correo eso ya lo mandaron sí. todo para que mandemos yo toda la documentación uh -huh. Es que a mí no me ha Pero caído creo que ese. Solo por WhatsApp lo enviaron. Sí, ah, por es WhatsApp. que me, me, a mí me aparece uno que como que es un recordatorio que dice que hay que, que se le va a mandar, dice que hay que ponerse al día con la plataforma. Después le mandaron Pero, otro, sí. otro correo. Ese no, ese no me ha caído a mí. Mm, bueno, oh. Si gustan pueden consultar con Pero mi Selena. Al WhatsApp. al WhatsApp no, al correo. Uh -huh. Ah, en todo bueno. caso, pueden consultar con Miss Elena o con Jason. Él podría darles información. Ah, o bueno. Jonathan, ¿ok? Ok, okay. Porque sí, eh, ya enviaron vamos, los... Ya enviaron la... la eh, perdón, el recordatorio para inscribirse y de igual ah, forma para que sigan avanzando en plataforma, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. hay, que, hay que hacer eso porque recordemos que ya estamos en la tercera semana, nos queda una sola para terminar el curso. Okay. Entonces... Uh -huh. Es importante que vayamos avanzando. Eh, Carlos, do you have any questions? Uh, no, I say in this moment, uh, to the, how do you say the, the files and another instructions? Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, I am to, today and today at night, I write and I fill out the, the how do you say the file and send. Look at okay, the, your the, telephone, guys, please. Oh. Okay, thank you, Carlos. All right, so that will be all. Thanks, everybody. Have a nice weekend. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.